It was not chance that brought me to you at the Emperor's Ball, Jules. It was part of a long process in which your merits were being considered and reconsidered. I thought you danced with me because you liked me. I found you very attractive, Jules. But what I feel is not important. This is what matters. You found the treasure of Alaric the Visigoth. You used it to build this. We did, Jules. And with it, we will change the course of history. It's incredible. It's, it's a brilliant piece of engineering, but... Change the course of history. By intervening wherever barbarism threatens civilization. Whenever the noble and the good are about to be overwhelmed by the mean and base. Make it sound like the Knights of the Round Table. That's exactly what it is, Jules. And the question for you is... Will you be one of those knights? It's a flattering offer, Helen. Why me? We need your knowledge. We need your vision. And I need someone like you at my side. As we set out on a great quest. Will you be that man? Just set off with you. Just like that. You'll be my right hand man, Jules. My lieutenant. If you make the right choice. Why don't you try it on? Now? I'm going to bring peace to America, Lieutenant. Peace, huh? Uh, civil war, peace? The whole country is racked by ungovernable passions. Those passions have to be grappled with, subdued, before the life force of the whole nation ebbs away. I wish I'd never seen that dumb statue. But you did. Jules Verne went herring off after it, and now he's disappeared. Now, I want you to tell me everything you know. Welcome aboard, Lieutenant. The commander has spoken highly of your intelligence and dedication. We can do great things with this ship. Commander Don Ju has convinced me we will do great things. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Byrne will help us plan the most effective way to use the ship once we reach America. Gunnery officer, show him the maps. Lieutenant. Do you see how the Confederate capital of Richmond is so close to Washington, D.C.? What's the firepower, Gunner? We carry 14 guns, Lieutenant. Five port, five starboard, two aft, and two forward. All designed for broadsides, aerial attack, or ground bombardment. That's perfect. Now, see here, just north of Baltimore. With any luck, that should bring their supply systems grinding to a halt, force them to declare a ceasefire, and then move straight into full negotiations. Brilliant, Lieutenant. I can't tell you how satisfying it is to have a chance to actually make use of what I've learned. Commander, we're having a problem with the stabilizers. Shall we recalibrate? No, don't do anything yet. I'll come down. Lieutenant! Take the bridge while I'm gone. Me? I want you to have experience of command. I think you're ready for it. Lieutenant Byrne has the bridge until I return, Gunner. Aye, aye, Commander. Helmsman. Ten degrees to port. Unidentified ship on the port bow, sir. The Aurora. 
What are they doing here? They seem to be heading straight for us. Shall I fire a warning shot? Now I know these people. go off in a flying ship. Rebecca, it's a battleship. Friends of yours, Lieutenant? Phileas Fogg and his cousin Rebecca. May I bring them aboard? Of course. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Do you think they've kidnapped him? Rather fear they haven't. Take a look at that get-up he's wearing. Look at him. He's all big Captain Dot. He reminds me of an admirable. Introduce you to my commander, Countess Helen Danju. How'd you do? Didn't we meet at the Emperor's Ball? Our paths have crossed, yes. We consider ourselves extremely fortunate that Lieutenant Verne has decided to become one of our officers. And what is our friend responsible for? Strategy and tactics. I congratulate you. Do you have your own cabin, Vern? Why can't we talk here? <laughs> well, maybe we'd like to see more of your ship. With your permission, Commander? Certainly, Lieutenant. Welcome on the vessel of Mr. Phileas Fogg from London, England. My name is Passepartout. You give the orders around here? All the orders. How many crew do you have then? Oh, it's just me. But no need for crew people. Everything here is done by machines. Here is the uplifticating device, the, the steering ball. And we have the maps over here. You were about to tell us, Vern, how all this came about. No. Oh. It's investigating the death of Father Beausoleil. If you recall. And did you find out who did it? Not exactly. That's uh, been overtaken by events. Don't you find it a bit strange, Jules? These people making you an officer in this incredible machine. Why? You don't think I'm up to it? No, it's not. It's You're just... You're an awfully good chap, Vern, but in charge of a battleship. I'm in charge of finding the best use for it, Fogg. And you say you're going to stop the war between the states? That's our plan. Unless you have any objection. Well, it depends on the outcome. The outcome will be saving thousands of lives. Yes, but if the war ends in stalemate, with the United States split in two? That's not it at all. Think I could mess up that badly? I have to be honest with you, Vern. There's something here that makes me very uneasy indeed. And, um, I agree with Phileas. Alain Danjou's not the controlling force here. There's, there's somebody else behind her. What makes you think that? Because ever since I've set foot on this ship, I've felt something wrong. Something evil. Evil? You're obsessed with evil fog. Do you mind if we have a look around, Jules? What for? 
Well, it's just curiosity, but uh, if you don't want us to. You seem to be carrying quite a lot of cargo, Jules. What is it? I have no idea. I haven't had time to go poking around here. No, well, you have been rather busy, haven't you? Yes. Yes, I have. I have a lot of responsibilities here. 